Welcome to my graduation video. I finished the Pathfinder Phase 1 online certification course uh, several weeks ago now and I've received my uh, certificate in the mail and I thought I'd make my final video over the course and kind of give you my uh, last thoughts on it and you know whether I thought it was worthwhile, what I liked about it, what I didn't and uh, you know whether you should spend your money on it too. First and foremost, I want to stress that it was an enjoyable learning experience. I'm happy I took it, and it was well worth uh, whatever little amount of money I paid for it. I think it was 50 bucks. Um, you know, I came into the course with a bunch of experience already, and um, even with that being said, there were many things I hadn't done before. You know, maybe only read about in books. Uh, there were some things I hadn't done since Boy Scouts. And there were some other things that I had done differently. Um, since I had wanted to sort of immerse myself in the Pathfinder way as they teach it, you know, I pretty much uh, uh, bought the Pathfinder kind of standard kit, student gear, I guess, and uh, did it the Pathfinder way. Um, I pretty much stuck to my original kit that you saw in previous videos, in my first couple videos. Um, I didn't really have to add too much to it other than exactly what was called for in subsequent lessons. So everything in, in the kit really worked out great for me. And I want to stress to future students that I really think you should stick to that minimalist approach of the, of the basic kit. You really can do everything with just a knife and you should practice, um, you know, taking down small trees and whatnot uh, with a knife. Uh, instead of you know resorting to a hatchet or a saw that you might not have on you, try to stick to the uh, the minimal sort of idea of that kit. I do maybe have one small little piece of gear advice for future students, and that is the 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 common way of making the char cloth by simply putting your cotton material in the bottom of your stainless steel cup, and then putting your canteen on top of it and putting that in the fire. That works great. It's fine. But in my case, it really left some crusty charred material in my cup that even after steel wool treatment at home, I couldn't get 100% completely out. So, um, you know, in the future, I'm not going to be using that method unless it's an emergency and that's my only way. Um, so I will be, and I have been, in fact, using a small circular tin with like a screw-on lid uh, to make and store my char cloth in and keep it separately kind of from the rest of my fire kit. So so that is my one small uh, recommendation for gear. So that was the good, and now for the bad. Uh, basically, if you can remember back to my first video where I was just giving my first impressions of the course, um, everything that I said there still holds true. Um, the DVD set isn't set up in any sort of logical way that you would expect. Um, it really should be set up in the same format as the class. Um, there should be like an introduction, there should be a discussion of the syllabus and expectations, who the expected target audience is, what the students should get out of the course, and um, you know of course videos for the 10 blocks that match you know the 10 blocks that you're you're turning in assignments for. Um, it should include why something is being taught one way versus another. And I think that like watching the DVD set should feel like going to a class, and it totally doesn't. It just feels like randomly clicking on YouTube videos. The syllabus needs some heavy editing. There is plenty of misspellings and incorrect word choices, like poisonous versus venomous. Uh, and it just really it doesn't look professional. Um, and the deliverables themselves aren't really asking for enough. Like if if you're told to research two things, the deliverable should be two things, but there's pictures or videos and it's usually not, it's usually one. Um, and I think all the field exercises really should be video deliverables because that's, um, you know, going to show the instructor, whoever's doing the grading, you know, w whether or not you're doing it right. Uh, I think a picture or just some notes isn't really sufficient. Um, and lastly, there needs to be a better communication between the student and whoever's doing the grading. Um, 
you know, in, in my case, you know, I'm sure the guy was busy. He wasn't slacking off. He had other things, but it, it would be weeks or even in some cases it was like two months before I got an answer back. And that's pretty insane, you know. An email takes, it, I mean, a, a couple days, you know, you really could be the limit, not weeks or, or even months. So it definitely needs um, some improvement. And uh, the response I got back from the instructor, you know, they they kind of they know there's problems, and uh, this course has been out there for I don't know, something like five years or so now. And uh, there's a lot of things they they wish they would do differently, uh, change, but they can't really change the the format uh, too much, since there's previous people who've gone through and graduated. They can't like sort of make this an entirely new class and have like the new people doing totally different. Uh, things so I'm hoping in the future they just retire this whole course and come out with something else you know change the name up a little bit or whatnot and uh, you know kind of take all their everything they've learned and uh, you know just just make it a completely new course call it something different and you know you have more stringent sort of um, deliverables and requirements uh, attached to that. I think that'll be a, a huge, 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 huge improvement. And uh, I do think it's necessary. Uh, but like I said in the beginning, overall, you know, I'm still happy with it. The price is certainly low enough. You know, I feel like I was cheated. Um, you know, it's a good course. And I guess overall, uh, you know, I would recommend it. And I checked, they no longer have a phase two available. So they might already be it may be phasing it out or changing it up. So um, I had been planning on taking that online as well. And it looks like, uh, at least for the time being, I won't. But I did find an online course from an, an Alder Leaf Wilderness College. And that's going to be a whole different video. So watch for that series if you got something out of this one. And until then, stay safe out there.